What's up guys, Horrors Gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. In today's video, I'm not really going to be doing my usual tutorials. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a glitch to get the charge shotgun in Fortnite creative. I believe you can get other weapons if you use the upgrade bench. Uh, I'm sure you guys know that there's another assault rifle I believe that you can upgrade. Uh, but I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that and you can pretty much do the exact same thing anyway. All you have to do is spawn that assault rifle and upgrade it in the bench later on in the glitch. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get all the rarities of the new uh, charged shotgun. And all you have to do is head back to the hub and you're going to need to put in this island which I will show you just up here. So this is the island that you want to put in. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's the code there. And then uh, you can see it on screen as well there. You want to go into the island and then start the game and then all you want to do from there is go up to this button just here press that as you can see the upgrade bench will spawn in your inventory so you want to throw it just outside of the map just like that throw a few of them it doesn't matter how many as long as there's a few just out there in the water then you want to place down a marker so that you can see it later on in the glitch now all you want to do is head back to the hub, go on to your island, uh, I believe it's got to be an island with water so I just started a new island up, uh, the temperate island, the original island that was in Fortnite Creative and you can see the marker just there, that means the other island is over there and then all you want to do is head down here now to the water, as you can see I already have it set up but what I'll do is I'll delete that so you can see exactly what I do. So you want to go up to the barrier here, you don't want to go past it, you want to go to uh, creative devices, spawn the mechs and then put a mech up just there at the side of it and then you want to put another mech either behind it or at the side of it, it's better to have it at the side of it, one block away from the barrier because that's how the glitch works, so you can put it on the right side, whatever is easier for you. Then all you want to do from there is get into the mech. Make sure you are in the driver's seat, walk just a little bit outside of the map and then what you want to do from here is quickly walk forward and get into the other mech. So you want to jump out and get in as quick as possible before you go into a black screen and then from there you want to switch seats. So let's do that real quick. So you want to go in, jump out, get into the other one and switch seats just like that as quick as possible and then from here you want to get out and go into flight mode. As you can see, it didn't work for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to redo that real quick. Okay, never mind actually, it did work, I just didn't go into fly mode quick quick enough. Uh, sorry about that, bit confusing. So let me explain that again, just so you guys can understand what happens. So you want to get into the first mech, go into the driver's seat, walk out of the barrier, walk forward, get out and jump into the second mech as quick as possible before you get into the black screen. And then from there you want to get into the driver's seat while in the black screen. And then once you come out of the black screen, you want to get out of the mech and go into flight mode as quick as possible. So it's as simple as that really. A little bit confusing if you do it wrong. But if you do it wrong you can just try again or just be as lucky as me and uh, be able to go into flight mode even though you're glitching out. So anyway from there, you want to fly over to the other island. It's going to take me a while so what I'll do is I'll speed this up and I'll see you when I get there. So here we are, you can see the other island in the distance now. Uh, the original island that we were on, where we threw the upgrade benches outside of the map. And as you can see, they're on the floor there. Make sure you don't go into the island. Just stay outside of the barrier and pick up an upgrade bench. You can't pick up loads, you only can pick up one unfortunately. But from there, you just want to face a marker, turn 180 degrees all the way around and head back to the island that you were originally on. Uh, you can't be in phase mode by the way guys, so make sure to turn phase off before picking up that uh, workbench, otherwise it won't work. Um, so yeah, you want to head back to the other island now. And uh, yeah, uh, it'd be a good time to remind you to hit that like button as well. Uh, if this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe for more as well and click that bell because I do tutorials every other day on this channel. And I do tutorials on a Hogger Hub quest as well. So here we are back at the original island, uh, you don't have to stay behind the barriers this time, you can go straight into the map and throw down the workbench, so let's just fly up there really quickly. 
Um, there we go. So you want to just throw down the workbench anywhere, really. That would be a good spot next to your vending machine. So you can put them straight into the vending machines. And then from there, you just want to uh, quickly respawn. So let me do that real quick. Because you are a bit glitched out. So you just have to respawn once the workbench is down. And then from there, all you have to do is spawn the pump shotguns into your inventory which I will show you uh, how to do that real quick so you want to go to weapons go through the list of pump shotguns uh, I'm going to just do it with these two just so I can show you guys really quickly and then all you want to do is go up to the workbench and side grade the weapon unfortunately for me I'm on controller and the same button to side grade is the same button to go onto my phone so I can't show you um, on uh, like on screen, unfortunately, but I will show you through my other character right now. Uh, so I'll pick those two up. You're not going to be able to see this, but you can see it happening. So I'll go up to the workbench, side grade the weapon. As you can see, it allows me to upgrade it. And then as you can see, uh, oh, no, I've clicked the one <laughs> wrong button, unfortunately. Let me try that again. Side grade, I upgraded it instead. Uh, there we go, now it's changed a green um, shotgun into a, a side graded charged shotgun. What I'm going to do real quick is just do it with another shotgun. And then uh, I'm going to respawn so it drops the guns. Alright, there we go, we have two charged shotguns now. I'm just going to respawn this character so they drop the weapons. And there we go. I now have two charged shotguns. You can do that with all the rarities if you want. I've already done it. So I don't need to show you guys really, uh, all of them. I can just show you how it works. So yeah, you just want to go up to it, side grade it, and then you will need materials, by the way, so make sure to spawn some materials from the consumables area. Um, you might be able to do this on controller. If you change your controller settings, you might need to change the Y button to a different button. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Um, but yeah, I had a PC, so it's easier for me to just do that. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Hit that like button if it did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you do want these vending machines in your game and this item spawner, if you add my other account, as you can see, Hellraiser Stream, and comment down below, I will try to get as many people of many people in a lobby as possible to for you guys to come into this lobby and copy those vending machines. So make sure to go and add Hellraiser Stream. Or you can join my Discord as well, which is down in the description and message me on there that might be a lot easier actually because then you can contact contact me directly and uh yeah i'll be able to jump in and uh, invite you to a game so make sure to do that anyway guys hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one